Hey guys, me host Supersoto. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm gonna go toy hunting and I wanna take you guys along. So let's do this. What's your favorite scary movie? On this toy hunt, let's check out what uh, B and M first. Now B and M had some new plushies in stock, a big section of them actually, including the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Poppy's Playtime Series Two, and many, many more. They had some good pl plushies in stock. Mario Brothers, uh, Simpsons. They had a bit of all sorts. It was great. Um, I've, not, I've not seen this, this many like geeky plushies all in one place in quite some time. So B and M's got that stock to the minute. I can't believe the Monster High dolls are still £30 in here. They're like £20 everywhere else and dropping drastically as the new series comes out very soon. But B&M do have a massive selection of brand new Disney dolls as well. And B&M have more blind bags than you can shake a stick at. This is ridiculous. The amount of blind bags they have in stock now is just insane. This is the girls section, but there was even more in the uh, the boys section, if you will. Uh, but there were so many different blind bags. And also check out this new Hot, Hot Wheels Racerverse. These are the new Disney like Hot like like little Hot Wheels cars, and they look so cool. Although I didn't buy them today because they do want eight ninety five for them. Although they do have Star Wars and Marvel and Disney as a part of this line. But 849 is a little bit on the like expensive side for me. I couldn't justify that just yet. So I'm gonna wait and see what Smiths are charging for these ones. Moving over to the boy section of stuff, like the, the collectible stuff as well, they had some cool new Q figs and mini statues. The Minico statues looked awesome, and then they had some Beast Kingdom stuff still in stock. They've been there quite some time. I'm hoping they drop a little bit more in price, and I could be tempted by the Gambit. Uh, but they have so much cool stuff in stock right now, like the Diamond Select Cobra Kai figures are here. Uh, they've got some, still got some, some Doctor Who TARDIS sets, among, uh, among some uh, blind boxes, blind bags, squishies, all that usual stuff that you find. And Funko Mystery Minis as well are here. So there's a great bunch of stuff in this B&M. And look at these, I've, I've not seen these before. These are stick-ons, and they are Teenage Mutant Turtles, but they like them like sticky bottomed ones, very weird. But uh, yeah, I, I can't resist a good blind bag, you guys know me. Okay, but enough with B&M, let's head out to York. York has got its Christmas in full swing right now, and I went to this little Christmas store and I had to pick up a little elf, because they had a black and white elf rather the usual red ones, so I had to pick that up. Although they had all sorts of other weird little outfits and stuff for the elf on a shelf. Very weird little shop, but do you know what? We had a little blast in there. I picked up a black Santa hat with ho-ho-ho on it, which I'm going to modify into a Krampus hat. And I also picked up a black and white Elf on the Shelf this year. Uh, I will be doing my uh, 24 days of Elf on the Shelf again because I had fun with that last year, just tormenting the Elf on the Shelf with all my horror characters. And of course, you can't go to York without stopping by Betty's Tea Room. Nom nom. Cake. I like cake.
Okay, that's enough sightseeing. Back to the toys. HMV here, and they have some cool collectibles in their shop. In their shop right now at York. Look at all these goodies, including the, the uh, hand from Wednesday thing, uh, amongst de Deddy Bears and some cool new pops. I really like this Chucky and Tiffany kind of stitched pop, but I cannot justify the price they're asking for it. Uh, it's not this much online. I can get this cheaper at the Funko website. So I'm just going to hold the hang fire and hopefully grab that for around about £12. They wanted £22.99 for it in HMV, which pfft, I'm not paying £22.99 for a regular pop. Come on, HMV. I know it's an exclusive, but whew, I'm not paying that much. Okay, let's get out of HMV because their prices are just insane. Let's head on over to good old Tesco. Now, the best thing about Tesco is, yes, their, their toy section is a little bit sporadic. It is all over the place. But they do have some cool new stuff in stock now that Christmas is on its way. So with all Black Friday stuff coming out and the Christmas stuff and all that good stuff, there was plenty of stock. It was just all over the place. I think they were still putting a lot of it out while we were there because we kept seeing staff members running around. So... Maybe if we go back in a few days, it'll be a little bit easier to find stuff. Look at these little purple boxes for the Star Wars Bounty Collection. Now, this was tempting because this little BD-1 is so cute. I love a good blind box. And I love a good mini. And, oh, look at those. Some of those are cool. I like that they're starting to do the droids in this collection. And I've seen from my friend Rich that even Game Store is starting to get the brand new yellow boxes in, which is Season 7. And they've got some cool new ones in there as well. So I'll be checking them out. I'm uh, not a big collector of Star Wars these days, but mini mysteries, mini figures, they kind of hit the spot. And look, it's Lego. You can never go wrong with Lego. I love the Lego minifigures more than anything. I really like that Ghost Rider minifig. And then we've got a Morbius minifig in this one, which is very tempting. Um, and then down here we've got the Young Jedi as well. Some brand new stuff that I've not seen or played with yet, so very, very tempting. And then we got this cool Spider-Man set in Smiths. How cool is this set? This is uh, one of those Blacklight sets as well. And this really cool Jack Skellington. There's plenty of Jack Skellington these days. And there's a new UK exclusive one coming out as well. So stay tuned in your Smiths because they'll probably grow, get, get that in stock. They still have plenty of the Blacklight Halloween ones in stock still. $12.99 and the balloon set uh, for, fun, uh, for, for, for Five Nights was still $22. So we're going to keep moving on for now. Not much here for me today. But I've enjoyed going shopping, guys, and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I'll see you guys back in my room in just a moment. Guys, what were your thoughts on the toy hunt today? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Until then, keep your creep. Bye!